questions. Got you lots of new Georgia duds now. Oh, did they, yeah. did they yes, outfit sir. you right away? I'll tell you what, uh, I don't know what to do with it all. <laughs> are you settled yet? Are you, where, where, what are you and the family doing right now? Well, I'm settled into the Georgia Center over there, <laughs> okay. a block away. And um, so it's been, it's been good. You know, coming in as a new, stat, new defensive staff, you were spending a ton of time up here, obviously. And, and so it's been really good. My family's still back in, in L.A. And we just bought a house the other day. And it's kind of neat. We're, the biggest thing we're looking for in, in buying a home, we have, my wife and I have four kids. And ranging from our oldest is a boy, 13, and then three little girls, you know, 12, 10, and 6. Right. So we want, we want a place where we can really settle in and, and there are kids everywhere. Where we live right now in California, one of the most beautiful places in, in the, probably in the world. And, but there's not a kid around it in probably three or four blocks. And so it's, uh, we can't wait to get moved and, and really get around and, and raise our family with, with uh, a little bit of nor um, a little bit more normal setting instead of 33 million people. I mean, coaching can be such a transient profession, as I mean, as you've seen. But you have bought a house here and ready to. Yeah, I bought. I mean, I'm, they're going to have to take me out of here at gunpoint. <laughs> I mean, this, is, this is where I want to be, and and the people that I'm working with. I've worked 12 years in this profession, and and I left the University of Nebraska because I really felt like I, I needed it. You know, I, I was kind of a sprint. I wanted to be head coach. I wanted to be head coach. I wanted to go be a defensive coordinator make that next move and, and so on and so forth and and you know what I've, I've gotten to the point right now where I say it very humbly but I want to be the best linebacker coach in football and and that's where my focus is and I want to I want to be um, I want to be at, at a university like the University of Georgia and work for great people and coach Rick to, if there's a finer human being coaching this game I haven't met him and you know, working with Jeremy Pruitt, that guy, he reminds me of, 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 a, of someone I played for and, and, and coached with starting out. He reminds me a lot of Bob Stoops. I mean, he's got some amazing qualities, a tremendous leader, very focused, knows exactly what he's looking for, and, and he has no ego. And the reason he doesn't have an ego is because he's a great teacher and he's very confident in what he believes in and he knows what it takes to get there. So, I, you know, I, we're all buying houses there. That's where I want to be. Did you, you remember me ask, did you end up in Oconee County or Athens Clark? Yes, sir. Oconee County? Yeah, I think we're, we're in there with uh, a couple blocks away from um, uh, Coach Pruitt and Coach Friend and, and Coach Bobo. Okay. So. I think Coach Rick had said that some of the coaches had to look at uh, bios maybe for the media guy during match drills uh, in terms of sending other players. Are you getting a handle on those guys? That would be me. I was one of those guys. But, yeah, it, it takes a little bit of time. You know, we're trying to get our – Get it, get our hands wrapped around the recruiting part. So know every young man in the state of Georgia. That's where we're, we're going to kill kill it in the state of Georgia. And we're also trying to obviously, you know, learn our, our get to know our, our players. And 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 that it takes a little bit of time. So I know my position guys right now, and I'm, I'm branching out from there. You, uh, it's a little bit confusing the way the the uh, responsibilities are in. Can you explain what you understand is to be your role in special teams and and linebackers? Well, I, I think in general, the, what Coach wanted to do is he wanted to have an, have some, an offensive emphasis on special teams and defensive emphasis. And my one of my responsibilities is to head up um, the defensive part of that. And but it's a collective unit or collective responsibility. We're all going to be involved. I mean, I'm going to be coaching on every single unit and. Um, Coach Chair is going to be coaching on every single unit, um, you know, and, and a lot of us are. So we may be heading it up and, and pointing it in the right direction, but we're all going to be, we're all going to have our hands on it, and, and we'll we'll play we'll play well. To to be clear, is is punt return a defensive we'll special team or an offensive special no, team? Um, we'll be in charge on our side on the defensive side. We'll be in charge of kickoff cover and punt return, and field goal PAT block. What is your background uh, in terms of during your career uh, in special teams? So what, what have you coached through your, your 
years. Um, I, I've been I've been a part of coaching every aspect of it, and headed up a couple different units, and and it's something that, that as a player I love. I mean, and, and I think it's a little bit easier to coach it if you actually if you did it, and and it's something I can relate to and I understand with these players how they how they feel about it and how you really have to get them to buy into it and and. You know, when you when you come here, I mean, one of the biggest things is for these guys to understand that a lot of them have aspirations to go on to the next level. Well, one of the first questions that any scout asks when they come in is, "What special teams does this young man play on?" And they start they track it back from his freshman year. That's where they start because about five percent of the players that are drafted go in and start in the NFL, and those other guys they better be making their money on special teams. So the, that's it's pretty easy. I mean, it's, it, if you if you don't want to play on special teams, you're crazy. I mean, you really are. And and not only because of that, but because you, you want to, you know, you want to you want to win, and you want what's best for your team, and and, and you want to compete. Mike, when the the transition happened out in L.A., mm -hmm. did you? I mean, even before that, have you had aspirations to coach in the SEC? Was this something that kind of always interested you to come here? I, I really enjoy the South. And I really, obviously, everybody in coaching, you look at the SEC and, and it's the number one conference, period. I mean, I don't care if I was in the Pac-12 or the Big Ten, you know, or the Big, Big 12. I mean, you look at the SEC from the outside and whether or not people will say it or not, I mean, it's, it's just a fact within coaching. Everybody knows. I mean, this is... This is a league, so as a coach, you want to you want to coach against the best, and you want to coach the best. So I go back to when I when I first came, um, when I first started out at the University of Nebraska. Well, a young man that I was recruiting, his father asked me, he goes, man, he goes, you must be under a lot of pressure, you know, trying to restore the tradition and so on and so forth, and and just hit me at that point. And I said, you know how much pressure we got? Zero. Because there's no way anybody could ever put more pressure on, uh, it, you know, more higher expectations than what we have on ourselves, and and that's how you feel as a coach. I mean, it, all the other stuff, I mean, it, it doesn't matter because you know, as a coach, you expect to win them all. As a coach, you um, you're competing, and that's all you're focused on.